Hey, we're back. <laughs> it's Leslie. Hey, everybody. The ideal range finder is not necessarily a camera. No, I shoot with all kinds of cameras, obviously. Folders, old folders. Mm-hmm. That's always guesstimate type focus. Uh, you know, I'm a girl. I can't guess, I can't guess distance. <laughs> uh, there's that old joke in there, right? Um, I don't know that one. You, oh. Oh. Yeah, I can tell you later, but... Mm, doesn't sound like one for the kids. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> no. um, anyway, uh, I've looked at uh, electronic range finders. Okay. It's electric. Boogie, boogie. Digital. Digital. Expensive. And I want them to read and feed maybe inches. But I don't understand because the, what you're holding in your hand is a range finder, but it's not connected to a camera. So how... No, and see, most of these were connected to cameras. You'll find the KLART versions a lot of times on these... Um, uh, speed graphics, that type of thing. This little thing's cool. It has a, just a little eyesight. You could that. Uh huh. And the typical rangefinder. One frame goes over the yes. top of the other mm-hmm. as you spin it. Then it tells you what your distance is. Right there. And um, Mike's ear is four feet away. Whoa. Oh. All right, get out the so, tape measure. Now, <laughs> the, the thing is, you know, on those rangefinder cameras, I always, I didn't want to shoot anything close because mm-hmm. you have to be accurate when it's close. Mm-hmm. You know, so I'm cranking it up to F-16 and hoping for the best and shooting everything at infinity. This little guy came along, and I just noticed this is the ideal rangefinder. You will find these almost always still in the original box. Wow. Because is that why? they don't no one use them. <laughs> no, they used them, but they don't have shoes on them to put on the camera, so they didn't stay with the camera. Mm, so they, they just, just tuck them back in the box. In the box. And I use this for everything. This is so cool. Now, what's the closest you can focus with this that? This is two and a half feet. Well, that's not bad. Not bad. Yeah. And then, I mean, it really gets it down 15, 20, 30, really divides it down out to 100 feet. Wow. I, yeah, I'd never noticed it before, but this has $2.95 written on the side of it. And this was specifically designed as a photography tool? It wasn't like the golf no. range finders? No, this okay. is strictly a photography tool. Well, well no, because some folks for the range finders will actually use like the golfing ones, which those are hyper accurate. They have like lasers and stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, wow. And some of those uh, that are used in construction. Mm-hmm. Are more interior. They they have trouble in daylight, and this is so incredibly can I, simple. Can I see? You can, and it's you feel backwards, but you'll look through here, mm-hmm. spin the dial, mm-hmm. and there you go. Oh, look at that. Yeah, there it is. So once you set it, you read it. Four and a half. Wait, I mean, my glasses, my glasses, my glasses. And this was uh, made in the USA from the Federal Instrument Company in Long Island City. You can New York. Long Island City. Oh, my God. I know. Four feet. So, feet. So now, basically, once I do that, I could now set my camera just to four, four feet, feet. And you've got it. Do you have, how many extras of this do you have? I don't. This oh. came in. A, a, a <laughs> Polaroid 600 came in and was given to me in a box, and that was in it. Which was odd because it's a different generation all it the way around. Nice. It's a nice but range finder. It is. It's it's decently bright. It's easy. But may I ask a question? You yes. have to put this range finder on the focal plane of where your film is on your camera. Correct. Like you you can't just like your camera's down on a tripod and stand up and No, you need to, to be close to your camera so that your distance and is correct. The camera obviously. has like a little circle with a line through it, and correct. that is exactly is that, where the film is sitting. Yep. Exactly. So that's where it needs to be. Or in, in the case of this camera, they always say line it up with the serial number. That's oh, your phone. Oh, really? That's now, your where film, would you so. put this? Just lay it on top? There's no, you put some Velcro? Well, wow. No, I, I, I don't. <laughs> I just, just hold it. I just, you know, I'm going to stand here and do this, and then my camera's going to come right. up. So yeah. uh, I have used this for so many of my folders. It looks like a 1960s spy camera. I think it's a little older than that. Uh, how, long have, how long has it been since they called it Long Island City? Oh, I think, I think they may still call yeah, it that. Yeah, this part of Long Island called um, Long Island it's, City. And it's Long Island aged City. so much better even like the, the Voigtlanders, which cost a lot more. The Codex, it, that vertical one that had the little mirror that's clouded up. It's just called an ideal... Ideal range, range finder. finder. That's crazy. They bring... Now, I, I, like I said, I just noticed the price of two ninety five on here, two dollars ninety five cents on the bay. They run between ten dollars and thirty dollars. Mm. One in the box, twenty nine yes. ninety nine. Uh, shop around a little bit, but they, go, but they go ten to thirty dollars. Uh, okay. And um, oh, here we go, nine ninety nine original there. box. Mm-hmm. Oh, maybe but it's see? just the box. Got to be careful. Oh. Um, I think because it didn't have a shoe in it. Shoe? What shoe? <laughs> They were always put back in the box. Hmm. So a lot of them are in the box. box. 
and it has been such a handy little item. It's I think incredible. It's maybe just the box. Um, oh. That might just be the box. Yeah. No, some people just sell a box. Uh huh. Crazy. Sheesh. Original box. It says 1950. Doesn't say this. Does not say. Even the description doesn't say that the actual rangefinder. They would show it, I think. Yeah. Stupid. So. I've, you'll have to do the back button, but uh, <clears throat> so that is one I think very valuable little accessory that I have. Uh, I've used it actually with my Hasselblad 500C mm-hmm. because inside I can't see to focus; it's too mm-hmm, dark. Mm-hmm, it's mm-hmm. real, you know. If it, I'm not have auxiliary light it is or something. Handy dandy. It really is, and it's been. Even though it is adjustable, if the focus is off, I have to. Tell them, it's uh, been it just, it's nailed it. I'm on eBay.com as we speak, and uh-huh. it, it, it's a little pricey. It's not. There's nothing here for ten dollars. Uh, first time I looked, they were coming in at nine ninety nine. But no. you know what? I think even now, 50. if I broke this, I would I would pay twenty bucks or thirty bucks. Oh, you would. This has really performed so well for me, mm-hmm. and it's small. Fits in the camera bag. Doesn't take up much space. And um, my mom would say, "That's neat." It is. It's neato. It is neat. Uh-huh. Mint box rangefinder, good condition. Mm-hmm. Uh, vintage Federal Instruments. That's it. Corp ideal rangefinder, original box instructions. Do you have the instructions? I do. Just the instructions. It had a three-year warranty. It did. It did. It lasted a long time. Yeah. Very old it is. and very good shape. Original box and instructions. It's easy to Watch. use. How much? Sixteen fifty plus six dollars shipping. Oh. <laughs> and there are probably others of these. Um, this is just the one that kind of fell in my lap. And it's it just, what you like. It, it, because it works so well, so simple. You know, what, what can you say? That's what you're looking for. Quick, stick your eye in the hole, turn the dial, overlap the images, read the distance. You're and home. Set your camera. Set your camera. Should you well, that's, yeah, that's probably. <laughs> well, no, sometimes I just get it out and read the distance of things. And I don't have a camera around because it's fun. Anyway, that's, that's my spiel wow. for the ideal rangefinder.